Dear students, welcome to Brilliant Qatar. In this session, uh, we are going to discuss an important topic from uh, electrostatics. See, if I'm just uh, marking two objects here, this is object A and this is object B. So there are two objects and assume they are charged objects. So which means uh, I'm giving A as a charge of 100 coulomb and B is a, giving a charge of 10 coulombs. So on A, 100 coulomb charge is there, on B, 10 coulomb charge is there. And what do you think if I'm joining these two by a wire, a conducting wire? First question is, will there be flow of charge? What is the answer? Surely the answer is yes, right? So from which body to which body? Is it from A to B? The charge will be flowing from A to B or B to A. I think you have the answer in your mind. We'll be saying that it will be from A to B. Of course, it is from A to B, right? The idea in your mind is A, there is more charge concentration, right? 100 coulomb charge is there. On B, 10 coulomb charge is there. So, charge is more on A. So, the question is, is it the quantity of charge that determines the direction of flow of charge? That means, can we say that charge will be always flowing from the higher concentration to the lower concentration? Is it true in all cases? That's what we are going to understand in this session. That means charge will be flowing from higher concentration to lower concentration or is there any other factor uh, that determines the direction of flow. Basically, you know that charge will be flowing from higher potential to lower potential, higher potential to lower potential. So the question is, which body is at higher potential, A or B? More charge is there on A. So in this case, we can say that A is having more potential. But is it true in all cases that we can understand with an example? Listen. So here. I'm taking two uh, spherical objects, spherical body, spherical conductors, and they are arranged concentric. So concentric spherical spheres. Look at this diagram. This is one sphere, and I'll be taking one more sphere. And you can see both the spheres are concentric. So the center is same for both the spheres. All right. So let us name these spheres first. The inner one is sphere A and the outer one is B. Okay. And take the radius hole. So the radius of the inner sphere that we can take as small letter R. Radius of the outer sphere, take it as capital R. So two concentric spheres. Now I am going to give charge to them. The charge on the inner sphere, let us take its small q. And the charge on the outer sphere, we are going to take it as capital Q. Okay, uh, we can take both of them, we can consider both of them as positive charges. So, I hope the situation is very clear. There are two concentric spheres. Inner sphere radius R, inner sphere is A, its charge is Q, small letter Q. Outer sphere, the radius capital R and the charge is capital Q. Alright, now the question is, if you are joining these two spheres by a metallic wire, will there be flow of charge? If yes, from which body to which body? A to B or B to A. Now, I'll give you one more idea. Let us assume, let us assume capital Q is greater than small q. That means the charge on the outer sphere is greater than the charge on the inner sphere. So, in this case, if you are joining these two by a wire, what will be the direction of flow of charge? From inner sphere to outer sphere or outer sphere to inner sphere. So, you know that charge will be flowing from a point of higher potential to a point of lower potential. So, here, which sphere will be at higher potential? Is it the inner one or the outer one? So, let's see which is at higher potential. Okay. Listen out of you. So, we have to find the potentials on both. First, we have to find potential on A. Then, we have to find potential on B. By comparing those two, we can understand which sphere is at higher potential. Okay. So, we will begin with the inner sphere. Potential on A. A is the inner sphere, right? Please note that there are two charges. Small Q charge on the inner sphere, capital Q charge on the outer sphere. So, definitely there will be two potentials on both the spheres. There will be potential due to small q and capital Q on inner sphere and there will be potentials on the outer sphere due to the same charges small q and capital Q. So, we have to add the potential. So, we will begin with potential on the inner sphere. So, first we will start. What will be the potential on the inner sphere due to the charge small q? 
okay so we can take it as v a potential on the inner sphere v a is equal to look at that small q small q is on the surface its radius is r you know that if a spherical shell is given a charge q the potential is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r this is the potential on the inner sphere due to the charge small q that's a very simple all of you know that formula now what will be the potential on the inner sphere due to the charge plus q on the outer sphere you know that on the outer sphere the charge is capital q so potential on the outer surface of outer sphere due to this capital q will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught capital q by capital r that is on the surface of outer sphere isn't it yes on the outer sphere the potential will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught capital q by capital r hope you remember the electrostatic property of a conductor as per the electrostatic property the electric potential inside a conducting shell inside a conductor is equal to the potential on its surface so you can see that the inner shell is inside the outer shell that means whichever potential is there on the surface of the outer shell due to this charge capital q the same potential will be there at every point inside that means since the inner shell inner sphere is inside the outer one definitely the potential on the inner sphere due to the charge capital q will be the potential on the outer sphere itself it will be same because electric potential inside a conductor is a constant and is equal to the potential on its surface so i'll be writing the formula here it is plus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught capital Q by capital R. Dear students, please note that this is actually the potential on the surface of outer sphere, but we are applying electrostatic property here inside also it will be same. That means you can see the total potential on the surface of inner sphere is what? The sum of potentials due to small q and capital Q that is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R plus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught capital Q by capital R. I think that's clear. This is the potential on the surface of inner sphere. Now we have to find potential on B. Potential on B. On B means on the surface of the outer sphere. On the surface of outer sphere also there will be two potentials. One is due to small q, other is due to capital Q. Due to small q, what will be the potential? So we can take it as VB. So due to small q, 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into charge is small q we are finding uh, where on the surface of outer so from the center of the shell you can see that from the center of the shell outer sphere is at a distance of capital r right so potential due to small charge will be small q by capital r this is the potential on the outer surface due to the charge small q plus potential on the outer shell due to the charge capital Q that's very easy because charge is Q radius is capital R so again you can write what 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R this is the potential on the outer sphere so that's it we got both the potential potential on A potential on B clear no now we can compare by comparing these two equations we can understand which is at higher potential see V A and V B Look at both the equations and tell me which is big V A or V B. V A is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught small q by small r and plus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught capital Q by capital R. V B is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught small q by capital R and 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r. One term is same in both the equations. The second term 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r. So that's same. So leave it. Look at the other the first term in both the equation 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught small q by small r small q by capital R out of these two which is big small the radius is in the denominator right so if radius is small potential will be high so if you are comparing these two you can see that in the first equation the denominator is small r and in the second equation the denominator is capital R since small r is less than capital R obviously V a is greater than what? vb so that you can easily understand from these two equations va the first equation va is greater than what vb what is the meaning va is at a higher potential than vb so we can easily find the potential difference now potential difference between a and b va minus vb right 
that you can easily calculate this term will be cancelled because they are equal so subtract 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught is common q is also common so q by 4 pi epsilon naught into what 1 by small r minus 1 by capital r this is the potential difference between two charged concentric spheres now the important point here is by comparing equations 1 and 2 1 and 2 the result we got is va greater than vb that means inner sphere is uh, at a higher potential than the outer sphere let's go to the initial condition what we have taken here capital q greater than small q for example capital q is 100 coulomb and small q is 10 coulomb 10 coulomb so you can see that the charge is more on the outer sphere right 100 coulomb charge is there on the outer sphere now if you are joining these two by a wire what will be the direction of flow of charge inner to outer or outer to inner as per the charge concentration uh, charge is more on the outer sphere so we can say that it will be flowing from outer to inner but is it true no v a greater than v b which means inner sphere is always at a higher potential than outer spheres which means irrespective of the charges magnitude of the charges on it we can say that the inner sphere is at a higher potential than what outer sphere this is an interesting result in electrostatics so if you are arranging two concentric spheres the inner sphere will be always at a higher potential than the outer sphere that means if they are joining them by a wire the charge or the current will be flowing from inner to outer as inner sphere is at a higher potential i hope this topic is very clear for you i'll come to I'll come with another video in the next session thank you very much brilliant kata your trusted coaching partner for IIT, JE, NEET, Science and Commerce students with 10 years of excellence in quality training. Brilliant Qatar.